The information we will reveal today may indicate that if you possess a Tesla and plan to sell it soon, now is the ideal time to do so. We're going to go into the most recent Tesla news today, including developments on automated emergency braking, the withdrawal of the Model S and X in some areas, new Powerwall initiatives, and of course, what this all means for owners of Tesla vehicles. Now let's get started. It's exciting, but before anything else, please make sure to subscribe to Tesla Stock News and like this video. First, automated emergency braking, one of the best autopilot safety features, is being improved by Tesla. Although many automobiles currently come equipped with this function as standard, Tesla is going above and beyond to make it even safer. To lessen the effects of frontal and rear crashes, software version 2023.12 contains a distance sensing capability that functions both in front and behind the vehicle. The majority of Tesla owners will value this significant upgrade. It is important to note that although this feature can be turned off in the controls menu, it is always activated when the car is started. Now let's talk about Australia. Tesla has stopped selling the Model S and X there. The cars are no longer available for order and the design studio is closed to potential customers. While the UK continues to sell right-hand drive vehicles, delivery of the updated models to Australia have not occurred since the end of 2020. Let's not forget about the Cybertruck. Elon Musk stated that the Cybertruck is still scheduled to start production later this year at Giga Texas during Tesla's Q1 2023 earnings call. A few fresh images of the pilot line tooling and winter testing were also shown to us. According to Musk, a Cybertruck delivery event is scheduled for September of this year. We're eager to see this much awaited car on the road and it's wonderful to see its development. We're excited to see what Tesla has in store for the future, whether it's new car models or safety feature improvements. These changes demonstrate that the company is constantly striving to enhance its cars and services. Tesla keeps pushing the limits of what the automotive industry can do. Sightings of a new Tesla car close to Fremont have produced some exciting news recently. Fresh images of the car shot from various perspectives revealed some of its special characteristics. The enormous windscreen wiper is a permanent feature that makes an impression, and someone is observing the truck and taking in its amazing size. Reportedly, Tesla altered the car's proportions near to manufacturing, but this is improbable considering the company's track record of consistency. In other Tesla news, the business has been holding more inventory lately, which could be problematic. Tesla makes an effort to modify prices to correspond with production rates, but this isn't always an exact science. The automobile has recently been under fire for allegedly inciting a pricing war by offering large price reductions. In spite of this, at the end of the most recent quarter, Tesla's inventory in the United States was recorded at an all-time high minus 15 days worth. It's important to remember, though, that this pattern might not represent the whole case. It's possible that Tesla is building up its inventory in the United States in the short run before moving its manufacturing to foreign regions. Uh, furthermore, because the data set only includes the last six months, the changes can appear more significant than they actually are. Even still, after the previous two price reductions, inventory for Model Y was reduced by half to 300 units, suggesting that the price reductions are having an effect. It makes logical that a lot of people held off on buying the automobile until the starting price dropped to $47,000. However, given the increase in inventory, Tesla could need to think about lowering the price of its other cars, particularly the Model X. Tesla has been using a number of tactics to increase the number of Model S and X cars that are sold, their price reduction to an astonishing $85,995 and $95,000 respectively was one important step. They have since changed their approach, boosting the price by $2,500 while providing new customers with three years of free supercharging. Additionally, consumers will receive six years of free unlimited supercharging when they trade in an earlier Model S or X with free unlimited supercharging. It appears that Tesla is more intent on selling the vehicle X than the other vehicle. But since the Model Y costs over $45,000 less and has a comparable range and feature set, buyers might choose the less expensive model. It's interesting to notice that Tesla changed the price of the Model Y. The base price hasn't changed, but the cost of the seven-seater version has been dropped by $1,000. This improvement used to cost an extra $4,000, but now it just costs an extra $4,000, but now it just costs an extra $3,000. Despite the fact that the Model X's spaciousness cannot be matched by the Model E's seven seats, this pricing change may persuade buyers to select the Model Y instead. In contrast to conventional automakers with dealerships, Tesla must appropriately sell its inventory, thus cutting prices seems like a good strategy, especially for the Model Y. Additionally, if current Tesla owners plan to sell their cars, this price modification may have an effect on their vehicle's value. Tesla depreciates used cars in tandem with price reductions for new ones. This is something to think about if you're thinking about selling your Tesla. In addition, Tesla has released a significant statement on their Powerwall pilot program in Germany. Many towns are working to modify their electrical systems in order to maximize solar energy's potential and stabilize the grid. 
Simple solutions are provided by household energy storage devices like the Tesla Powerwall. They make it possible for solar systems to store extra energy during the day and allow homeowners to sell it back to the grid at dusk. I need to introduce a test virtual power plant Tesla has. Teamed up with Transnet BW, one of the biggest electricity providers in Germany. Customers of Tesla who possess Powerwalls make up the virtual power plant, which pools their resources to supply electricity to the grid. Tesla announced the successful completion of the pilot project in Germany, while the precise number of Powerwalls involved in the initiative is still unknown. Virtual power plants such as this one are becoming more and more common as more households integrate solar and power storage systems. Tesla is leading the field in virtual power plant projects since the Powerwall is one of the most well-liked power storage products. Additionally, California's virtual power plant recently achieved A. New energy capacity milestone, supplying the grid with 577 megawatt hours over the course of the previous year, that's sufficient energy to use extra solar energy to power over 3,400 households. The expansion of virtual power plants should lead to a more stable and environmentally friendly system, benefiting all parties involved. California has made significant progress towards its target of having 1.5 million zero emission cars on the road by 2025, in addition to its efforts on virtual power plants. When the target was first set in 2012, California had a relatively small number of EVs, with the Nissan Leaf being the sole completely electric car available for purchase. Nonetheless, the governor of California issued an executive order to encourage the state's transition to electric vehicles, and the Tesla Model S was introduced later that year. Currently, the state has fulfilled its target two years ahead of schedule, with the California Energy Commission reporting over 1.5 EV sales. Nonetheless, the data show a positive change, suggesting that the rest of the country is finally catching up. Just 5.6% of all automobiles sold in the United States in 2022 were electric. However, a quick look at the chart in front of us shows an incredible exponential rise in the quantity of ease sold. Today, we have some good news about two of the biggest automakers in the business, Kia and Honda. These companies recently announced their remarkable all-electric lineups exceeding their own EV targets and securing their positions as leaders in the sector. Kia, a brand renowned for its innovative and stylish designs unveiled the EV6 crossover, their first electric vehicle in May of last year. Since then, the EV9A, roomy SUV with seven seats and the small EV5 SUV have pleased us. Remarkably, Bloomberg now states that Kia plans to sell 1 million EVs by 2026 and hopes to achieve an astounding 9% of sales from EVs by the end of this year. Honda, a company known for its dependability and performance, has likewise lifted the bar, aiming to produce more than 2 million electric vehicles by 2030. Honda intends to launch the Honda Prologue and Acura's VDX, both of which are slated for availability in 2019. These incredible cars, which were created in collaboration with General Motors and are built on the cutting edge Ultium platform, ushered a new era for Honda. They also give us hope that a mid to large EV based on their innovative e and e architecture will be available on the market in 2025. There's never been more excitement for Honda's electrified future, even as they carry on working with GM and other EVs. These noteworthy declarations coincide with an exponential increase in the worldwide adoption of electric vehicles. Globally, the market share of electric vehicles EVs increased tenfold between 2017 and 2022, from a meager 9% in 2020. This incredible move towards environmentally friendly transportation emphasizes the rising demand for electric cars worldwide. That essentially captures the essence of the entire video. Please remember to subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Salutations.